What is up, Gwenters? Uh, real quick, before we get into the deck of today, we're going to thank Mr. Chairman Wu for his uh, dedication and sacrifice uh, for tracking 800 kegs and the opening of all those kegs. Um, and I already had all four and five provision cards of premium, so uh, he wanted to try to get more meteorite aura this is something a lot of us have talked about if you are not a homecoming player meteorite aura is exceptionally rare i am grateful to cdpr for adding it into the newer uh year of the cursed toad trees so there's a lot more meteorite ore of late but it's still not enough and it's it's so expensive it's so hard to get so this is basically the summary of what he got and uh it's pretty depressing if i'm being honest this is 10 legendary cards worth of powder that he was able to pull off of ultimate kegs which remember ultimate kegs all of the cards are all of the cards are premium um oh sorry no ultimate is just all the sorry i get these mixed up premium kegs are the ones where all of them are premium ultimates are just all of the all of the cards are included in ultimate kegs um so he was able to get after 674 kegs, 7870 powder, uh, and like a ridiculous number of scraps. I don't think that Chairman Wu is prestige uh, 10 yet, but from my recollection, if I remember correctly, there aren't any extra premium things that you get further on in the prestige reward trees. Um, I'm just going to double check that to make sure. Uh, prestige rewards. Uh, no, that's not true. So the Prestige 10 is, damn I look old, guaranteed at least one premium card in your fifth choice for all kegs. Um, I'm, I don't really know what that means because I'm not Prestige 10. I just barely hit Prestige 7. And reward points, reward points and an additional 10 meteorite powder from daily quests so that's what seven eight and nine are so unless you're at 10 which if you're at 10 you've played so much gwent that hopefully you've accumulated enough powder to at least make premium all of your favorite cards so for those of you in the short term this is something that i think uh, is a little frustrating because of all the people at cdpr the graphic design artists in my opinion are some of the most dedicated and i want to honor their work so i would like to be able to make premium more of my cake uh, more of my cards um but just uh, there's more distribution here i'm going to put all of this up in the comments so you can look at this and all of you people who love statistics like me can you know do some bar uh do some bell curves here to try to guess what your likelihood of pulling a good card is um, Chen Wu, I expect more from you in terms of uh, a distributional, uh, you know, econometrics here. Let's let's do better. <laughs> Just kidding. Uh, uh, I did not. My econometrics class, my econometrics professor was really good, and I really enjoyed the class. But I do not, I do not remember how to get all of that data input, and I don't have access to the premium software I would need to do. Uh, to do a lot of that anyway but what, what the the real takeaway here is that there were a lot of premium common cards chairman Wu is oh now i have to check the list again i think prestige five is the one yeah prestige five is guaranteed at least one premium card in the first four card of all kegs so that's why you're seeing a lot of premium comments here because you're just getting at least one of those in every keg that he pulled uh, but it looks like there are a few extras and there were some of the other ones uh, Two legendary premiums out of nearly 50 pulled is feels pretty bad though uh, And then here's the 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 RNG calculations out of 400 cards 881 of them were premium which was 22.3 percent remember that a guaranteed 20 percent of them were going to be premium though, so Put that in your pipe and smoke it uh, one of the rares were from the first four cards. I noticed that I always got a rare in the pick of one of three fifth card. So anyway, thank you, Chairman Wu, for doing all this and for, for writing it all down and sharing it with everyone. That's, that's basically all I wanted to get to here. Back to 
Squint. We. Oh my gosh, I don't want that. No, go away. Click on the wrong things. All right, so uh, Priestess, we already did. So we are moving on in our decks right now. We're going to do the Stones or Cast. This was just a fun deck that I made. Nilfgaard Assimilate. Um, it was kind of a ragtag group of super weird things. We're going to go show you how it works. I do I have Erendite in this deck, and so there is a lot of... The goal of this deck is basically to tempo really, really quickly. Um and have have some fun with it that's that's it that's the summary um no thank you chairman Wu. you're very welcome for the mentoring and uh go take an online econometrics class clearly the the community needs you to to do more fancy bell curves that we can look at you know reading statistics is just too hard i want to look at it in beautiful picture form okay that's more more my speed oh no i'm not wearing my traveling coat Trying to finish off that traveling coat. Okay, so basically the only hitch with round one that you really want to get is Onero and or Portal. And then just keep your fours in deck just so you make sure you have Onero targets. And then Frickart is the other one. Okay, we got it. So perfect. Now we can get Frickart. And then Nilf Guardian Knights are just in here because they're big body targets. Um, they're good on like blue coin as well, but they're super fun as big body targets. So... Imperial Formation Chad. I haven't seen somebody play Imperial Formation for a hot minute. Wow, that's a... That's a flex if I've ever seen one. Uh, thank you for giving me a lock access, though. I really was nervous that I wasn't going to get one. Um, okay, so the only other thing I'd say, other than for a card that's really helpful here, is Rune Mage. And that's probably who we're going to target here right off the bat. But we'll go for Glennis and just give her that. Colgrim? Seems like a weird choice. You used you used Colgrim formation to get the pro? Were 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 all of the reckless flurry players just taking the day off? Oh, that's awesome. Okay, uh, I would like to get one more. But I don't really have a great option here. So we're just going to take Rune Mage. It's a little unfortunate, but... Uh, and we will go for... I actually really like Scoyatel. Because there are hand boosts. Okay, he's actually not bad. Let's move it over and do three damage to it. So he's like an eight point card. It's not bad. Better than most Nilf guards. You can get an assimilate off of those sometimes, but we already have a Dazbog. So eh. Yeah, this reeks of a Colgrim deck for sure. Um, we're just trying to pad Erendite here. That's basically all that's going on. Okay, we could use that, though it's not great. She's probably better. I think she's the best option. This is a trash card. I hate it so much. I think she's like one, two, three four points i guess that's really not great oh well um heat wave onto a glennis we just won the game of gwent why would you ever heat wave a glennis i don't Far be it from me to understand the likes of you. Um, let's just go for the assimilate engine here. Does this deck have our Todd? No, it does not, because I think our Todd is stupid. Just kidding, he's really good. I just hate him. Super 
so strange. Um, yeah, let's just create and play a special from their faction. Nothing to lock, so. Okay, we are not devotion, so we'll take diplomacy. Just for the extra proc. <laughs> Come on, keep it going. Let it continue. <laughs> All right, I'm going to put dead man's tongue on top. Oh, Arendite would have also worked really well there. <laughs> oh, that's the best. I love it so much. Lydia's just so much fun in this deck. All right, cool. I would, I would have liked to draw Arendite. But that works. Oh, man. The best is to play for cart onto the dead man's tongue. Yes! Yes! Let there be justice! <laughs> okay, uh, I'm trying to draw into Arendite. I don't want to draw into Nilfgaardian Knights. We avoid them, so that was a win. Um... Okay, we'll use Onero to, to draw Erendite here. Uh, let's just go for Ducal Guard. Don't really need anything down right now. And that way, we're continuing to pad Erendite's value. For a card, it's going to be so much, so many points right here with Dead Man's Tongue. It's going to be ridiculous. Ramon. Who's this going to be? Okay, that's fine. Um, I like this play because it makes people panic a little bit. And then we'll just boost him up. I don't actually care about the spying value. But I want, but it, I might deflect some removal there so that that could work out for me. I don't have any good targets for puzzle box. Well, that was lucky. Uh, da -da 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 -da. Let's do Brothens. Oh no, I need Arendite, huh? That's what we were going for. Okay. Let's just lock it then. Continuing to add value. I don't, I don't think... I think he, the opponent has led for like one turn. It's not enough. And let's target diplomacy here. I don't really care if we lose it or not. Humble potato peeler. Yeah, it's kind of nice to see just like Nilfgaard soldiers. Uh, although it is fairly pitiful to watch how garbage they are compared to this genuinely trash deck. Wow. He just didn't even opt for it. Okay, let's get rid of these. I don't want the bonded going off. So we'll do that with Erendite. Plus, they're probably the best value. Menno would have been technically the most, but I don't really want to deal with that. Now we get back. We get Erendite back. We just need to get Brothens. What was that? What did I play there? Oh, he took the the 
Ar Alba Armored Cavalry back. Fascinating. Perplexing. I don't know. Those are probably the best words I could come up for that situation. Um, don't really. Do I want to go down a card now? I think we use thing from a box just to stay alive here. Since the Envo's out. Okay. Super weird. Unless you're going to dump leader, why would you ever do that? Thunderbolt. I haven't seen Thunderbolt in a hot minute. I'm so confused. Potato Peeler is your game title. Maybe he's doing an artifact quest and he chose one artifact. What the? Why wouldn't you just have used Scorch? Scorch would have put you back ahead and you would have retained card advantage. I'm... S I'm so confused. I don't know how to describe it any other way. Um, I actually think we want to keep him. Come on, seriously? <sighs> Literally the only card I never drew. Only card I never drew. Fine. Okay. <sighs> if he's playing an artifacts quest, he sucks at it. Okay. So we just don't play anything? I did forget to use it. You're not wrong. Um, I can't use it. That sucks. Uh, bribery, I guess? What the freak? Technically, this is the most value. This is so weird. No, why no? Tainted Ale can't kill it quite. And I just need like another body. Why? Well, it doesn't matter. If he plays, if he kills the Cav, then the only value he has left to put on the board is a five-point armored, armored cavalry. Maybe he's trying to get these all to line up. But right now, why would you, why would you attack recruit? I'm also trying to like milk out the, I really need him to play a unit. So I was trying to force out his, okay, that's fine. He can't, he couldn't boost his own units. I was trying to force him to play his, uh, his Alba armored cavalry there because he couldn't quite reach the, because of the soldier, the farthest down he could get the cav was down to three which would have tied and he could have killed them but he has to have initiative to kill them both so it would have been a 50 50 between the both of them so my hope was that it would that he would play the cav and then the the armored cavalry and then i would be able to get value off of my uh duchess informant to and boost it back up again Honestly, this is all I'm doing of that deck. It got a win. Cool. I hope you guys enjoyed. You got to see everything. The only thing we didn't include here was Brothens. I only include Duchess Informants, not Emissaries in this deck. So it is pretty weird. 
but weird is what you need to win on ladder right now if we're being honest with each other that or reckless flurry magic compass because it's amazing until next time good luck out there have some fun friends and keep on gwending bye for now